See, I've been using this thing for a month now. And it's been interesting using this no cap to the point where I almost switched to it. But I ain't. So why is that, Latrell? We gonna find out then. Check this out. All right, so I got the iPhone 15 Pro over here, and this ain't even my first ever iPhone. So I had came from the iPhone 13. And before the iPhone 13, I think I had like an iPhone 10s, and then I had an iPhone 7 before that. So like I said, this ain't my first iPhone. But this is my first time I actually went to an Apple store and I picked me up an iPhone. So I actually got it from the Bayshore Mall out there in the Milwaukee suburbs in Glendale. Now check this out, gang. Apple almost had me, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. So like with this iPhone, I think this is almost gonna be the first time I switched to an iPhone. But it still ain't happened though. But I'm just saying, it almost happen it still ain't off the table like i'm just saying bro because look at this i got my z4 5 over here and this will i be using every single day i still got my sim card in it and i be like this is my main phone and i'm in the samsung ecosystem so i got like the galaxy watch even though i ain't got it on right now i got the galaxy book and i'm trying to get the new galaxy book 4 that just dropped i got the galaxy buzz the samsung smart tv i got a neo qled all that stuff bro like i'm deep in the samsung ecosystem and i see what they talking about with the apple stuff now now here's the thing though i would switch to the apple ecosystem but i tried things like the apple watch and I tried other things like the MacBook and I can't get with it. I don't like Mac OS and I just don't like the Apple Watch because I just I ain't feeling it. I like the iPhone though. And I have an Apple TV, but I don't even use that because I got Tizen built in my Samsung Smart TV and I prefer Tizen over the Apple TV OS, whatever they call it. Now let's go and talk about this real quick. So with the iPhone 15 Pro, this is the first time I actually had three cameras on my phone. So this is the first ever iPhone where I got this. Cause like, look at this, check this out. I got the iPhone 13 like I was telling y'all, but I only got two cameras up on here. So I got the wide and the ultra wide. Now with this, I can actually go ahead and get some further zoom up on there. But like I heard with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I ain't even know this, but you can get some like clear zoom on the Pro Max. But at the same time, no, I feel like I'm cool with the 15 Pro and I like to zoom up on here. I ain't got no issues with it. So I'm gonna just stick with this. I just don't like big iPhones for real. Like I like having a big Galaxy, but like an iPhone for whatever reason, I just don't like them that big. Pause. Double pause. We ain't riding on that. Triple pause. Nah, look, riding is crazy. What I'm seeing is the cameras on here is dope. And I got some camera samples for y'all downtown Milwaukee in the third ward. I want y'all to check that out. I got some pictures and videos too. So check this out. be the video in the daytime on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So we got 2X, 3X, go back to 1X, we got 0.5X, and you see the Milwaukee skyline kind of down there, and then we got some more tower buildings over there like the U.S. Bank Tower. But uh, the ice already melted since the last time I already recorded, so let me know what y'all think about this. And I'll tell y'all, man, the camera is actually surprised me, man. So like with the 13, the, the picture's quality was just all right. I, I mean, at best, but I felt like the 15 Pro Max just, or my bad, the 15 Pro look way better. Also, I don't know if you can really see that up there, but we got this Pro Raw button. So it's like Pro Raw Max at the top. And that's just basically going to give you clear pictures. I didn't even know about that. Somebody told me that up on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, that there was actually a thing and it made my pictures look better. So I tried it and it do. So that's cool. As for other things coming from the 13 so if i go and zoom in right here you can see that we got that notch in the 13 and with the 15 pro i got the dynamic island so that's new for me too and at first i was like bro that dynamic island is a gimmick like when i saw it online that's when i was wolfing for real but like when i saw this in person and like really had to try it that's when i was like okay this ain't bad for real though. Now, still kind of is a gimmick. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. But at the same time though, some of the features that they put up in there makes it kind of cool though. And then you got things like the action button, which I wish was more customizable, bro. I'm telling y'all because it's cool to have, but at the same time though, like it's just, it's not all that. The only thing I really kept this for was the silent mode, which is by default, which like at that point, I would rather have the mute switch right here. But you can customize it, you can go and do it for the flashlight or whatever else. But like, I like having that quick access right there. And I would like to have it where I could just press it to silence it and hold it for something else. You can't do that though, because remember, you can't get too comfortable, all right? It's still an iPhone, ain't that much customization. But I'm saying though, I feel like I would rather have it where like, maybe if I pressed it for a flashlight and hold it for silence, something like that, something like that, that would be cool. But 
the thing I like about it the most, I just was not feeling about the iPhone 13, it's just iOS. So they still got the same iOS, but at the same time, no, this is glitching and lagging when doing whatever else, and I couldn't stand this thing. And I still can't stand this thing, because I would just plug it in CarPlay and sometimes it would crash, or maybe I just pull up an app and it would crash, and then this whole phone would just freeze. Whatever it is, I only got the phone two years ago. It should not be doing all this already. That's crazy. And that's exactly why Apple got sued for all that. That's why that whole litigation went down, and that, that's crazy I say this, because my checks just got here yesterday. So Apple did get sued for purposely slowing down their phones, and I just got my checks, like two of them just last night or something like that. And it was like Huntington checks. Y'all let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of interested. What bank was the issue through? Because I got a Huntington bank check, which I actually got Huntington bank. So I thought it was just because I had that bank. But Huntington bank is like a Midwest bank, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if everybody in the U.S. got that. But yeah, I got it. And not only did I get it, but my homie got that too. So... I don't know. But anyway, now that's besides the whole review right here. And like I said, this ain't even really a review. This is me talking as a Samsung dude right here. But just me using the iPhone, like, it's got a lot of pros to it. USB-C? USB-C is cold, bro. Coming from the iPhone 13 over here, which got lightning, obviously, and having the Galaxy and Galaxy Buds and all this USB-C stuff. I got the Sony XM4 headphones. I got all this stuff that got USB-C, and then it was just this with lightning. And I was like, bro. So having two phones, the Galaxy and the iPhone, and they both use the same charger is mad clutch because now I don't got to carry around the lightning cable. And this is one of my motivations to actually go ahead and get me an iPhone 15 Pro is that it got USB-C up on there. So now that we got this, appreciate you, EU. Now I don't got to worry about all that extra stuff, even though I still wireless charge myself most of the time. Like I got this MagSafe Nomad stand still. There's a lot of stuff going on to this, like dope battery life. I've been on 99% for I don't know how long now, but I think that's also an iOS thing because I'm pretty sure the lower the battery percentage get, the faster it drains. That's what I heard anyway. Once you get around like 30% and all that, that's when the battery life start going down more to give you that perception that the battery lasts longer. But I don't know what that is. It could just be a conspiracy for all I know. Either way though, I'm just saying the battery life been dope for me. I ain't got no issues with this. Now with all that good stuff I was talking, even though there's still some negatives with this, why can't I get rid of my Galaxy right here? And I'm not going to hold y'all. It probably got to do with the ecosystem. I can't pinpoint a reason why. I, I just can't, but the ecosystem is a big one. Okay, like check this out. When you got a $2,500 TV, you got a Galaxy Watch, you got a uh, Galaxy Tab, all this stuff, it's hard to switch from all that. And also like my family, most of my family got Galaxies and just Androids in general. So we got the RCS and we all use Google Meet and we use all this stuff. So like we also got Quick Share. So I don't know anybody I could airdrop with besides some of my friends. Cause with my family, like my brother and my sister-in-law, they got Pixels and both my parents they got galaxies and like my auntie she got a galaxy like everybody got android stuff if it ain't a galaxy it's a pixel or maybe an iphone but that's about it but like my whole family don't really use iphones for real though at least the family that i talk to and maybe that's on purpose so if you is listening to this and i'll talk to you better get you an android maybe i'll start talking to you more <laughs> no nah, i'm just playing though now but for real though apple did do a dope job with the iphone 15 pro like i am really feeling this thing and i use this thing a lot especially because my car only got car play. and like i was telling y'all I drive a lot and I also do some DoorDash and stuff like that on the side. So like when I actually use this, I can just go and plug it in my car and be done. Unless I drive the Honda Accord or something like that and I just go ahead and plug in my Galaxy because I just got Android Auto and I could just use my phone and get all my text messages and all that stuff. But basically how I got it right now is this is my personal phone and this is my business phone. So I got like two SIM cards in this thing right now and then I got like my personal SIM card up on here. So I'm always going to carry both of them and I even try like using like a Pixel or something like that as my business phone, but it really don't make that much sense to have two android phones so i just stuck with this even though a pixel phone is a dope business phone though because you got like the call screening and all that bunch of features for all that stuff and plus y'all can't argue with me i don't want to hear it bro the google text to speech is golden ain't nobody touching that but like just apple throwing in all these extra features now like you got the always on display now which is clutch too i went ahead and turned off the wallpaper because that ain't doing it for me that's not an always on display well it is but it's just really always on i don't want a display that's actually always on i just want the time and all that if i actually want my screen to always be on i would just never turn off my screen timeout now with that being said man obviously it's too late if i wanted to go ahead and return this but at the same time no yeah, and i did debate this like actually returning it when i did buy it but after using this thing bro i ain't returning this like i'm gonna just use both of these at the same exact time man I, i've been carrying both of these since i got this this for the plug and this for the load i'm telling y'all hey shout out to kevin gates though even though i ain't heard his songs in a minute though shout out to him but with that being said man i appreciate y'all for coming through so let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below and this is like a different type of review that i did before i ain't never really even did something like this what is this dog doing down here Melly, what is you doing? why is he standing right underneath my tripod get a puppy they said it's gonna change your life they said
Don't do it. I love this dude, man, and I ain't gonna give him up, but bro, he irritate the hell out of me. Come here, Millie. How many features have you made on this channel already? Even though I just got you. Uh, I don't know how many times I did this so far. But with that being said, man, appreciate y'all for coming through. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Sentech on Instagram and X, and Facebook with Instagram and X for most active. And let me know what y'all think about the iPhone 15 Pro in the comments below. I'm not gonna go ahead and switch to this thing yet, Maybe in the future though. Like I said, it ain't out the cars yet. But for right now though, I'm sticking with my Galaxy. I'm sticking with the Samsung ecosystem. I got the Fold 5 and I think I'm about to go and get the S24. So stay tuned for that. But all right, y'all, me and Melly gone. YNW Melly, that's why I named them after. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm gone. Appreciate y'all for coming through. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. All right, you can get down now. Sorry, right, bro. Go ahead. When I take you out to the bathroom last.